Welcome to Troy's story. That's right, Troy story. So these will be little stories that I want to share about things that have happened to me. And as you listen to my stories, maybe you'll think about similar things that have happened to you. So here we are closing in on the end of Black History Month. And black history is very important to me because my mama always had me reading about different civil rights pioneers as I was a little kid growing up in the 1960s. What I am most proud of is that I have been able to continue that legacy uh, in that I go to a number of schools around the United States and I talk about the importance of black history and how growing up in a segregated society back in the 1960s and how it impacted my life and what I learned from those experiences. Never did I think that when I wrote a book called Gas Money that a number of positive things would have happened to my life. So what I've really learned about writing my book is, you know, I, I just alluded to black history, but what has really come to be of importance to me is the history of my family. And when I first wrote my book, Gas Money, never did I think that I would be writing a family history from my perspective, from the perspective of a little kid growing up in 1960s Virginia. But that's what it turned out to be. I want all of you to think about your family history and how different things took place in your family's lives and how they impacted each of you and what you learned from those experiences. So as you can see, I'm wearing a UNC Tar Heel sweatshirt because you UNC Tar Heels, they're my favorite team. And when I was a little boy, Charles Scott was the first, uh, I'm sorry, well, there's a, a guy named Billy Davis who was the first black player, college basketball player in the ACC. He went to the University of Maryland. And oh, by the way, I met and shook his hand in 1980 80 or 81 when he was coaching UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County. He was their head coach uh, when I met him when I was at Shippensburg State College. And we all know who UMBC is now because they went on to be um, UVA year before last, University of Virginia in the NCAA tournament. First time, uh, 16 seed beat a one seed. But all of that being said, Charles Scott was the second black player in the ACC. And uh, he was my hero when I was a little kid growing up in Virginia. And I used to hear all of the chants that were said to him at, at various games in the South and at NC State and Wake Forest and Duke and uh, South Carolina and Clemson when they were all part of the ACC. And it used to really upset me. And I got in touch with Dean Smith to let him know, Dean Smith was the coach of UNC, University of North Carolina, the Tar Heels. And I got in touch with him and let him know how happy I was that as a first or second grader that he would go out and recruit a, a black kid to come play basketball at the University of North Carolina. So here it is, 2020, and Charles Scott came to UNC in 1967 or 68. I should know that right off the top of my head, but either 67 or 68. And Charles Scott let me know that there were bigger and better things coming for the United States. And I felt that at that time, that athletics was one way to go. So what do I do as far as black history is concerned? I go around to a number of schools around the United States and I speak about the importance of all of us understanding our history and to know from whence we've come because if we don't know that, we don't know where we are going. Um, and so I feel that that's kind of my legacy. My mom, mama, never wanted to go out and speak in a public forum and talk about black history. But because she instilled in me the importance of black history, I know so much stuff about various dates that I feel that that's kind of my obligation. That's kind of what I owe my mom 
is to go around these elementary schools and high schools and, and talk about the importance of what black people have contributed to the American society. Because in the big scheme of things, we may think that we are separate, but we are all one. And that's where I wanted to end it for my first Troy story.